Hey, Mitch, um, uh, obviously, you know, struggled for much of the game just to, you know, get the ball over the goal line. I mean, how thrilled are you guys to have a game like this where, you know, you're struggling, you're struggling, you're struggling, but in the end, you, you get your defense that shows up and has such a huge day for you? I can't say enough about what the defense did for us today. Um, it really put us in some advantageous situations. Uh, like you said, for us, we're pretty disappointed in ourselves that we didn't put it in the end zone. I know there's quite a few plays I'd like back myself. Um, you know, for us, it's the job of scoring points and uh, a lot of pressure on our young kicker. Um, and that's not fair to him. So for us, it's just uh, learning from our mistakes and uh, going from there. And for you guys, you know, if you could, I know it's just happy to watch the tape, but when you're able to move the ball with the kind of effectiveness that you had, you know, offensively, I mean, you had over, four, over 400 yards of offense. What was happening where it wasn't, you just weren't able to finish drives? Yeah, um, you know, we had, we, we've been excelling in red zone uh, productivity up to this point. And, uh, you know, we just, we had a really tough go on the red zone. and. Um, I came away with three instead of six, and um, we're lucky that our, you know, our defense really did play a great football game. Proud of them, proud to be a part of the team with them, and uh, we just have to do better. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, Mitch, it's Jay with the Buffalo News. Uh, Tyler Bass obviously had sort of an up and down game. Just what? Uh, what are your emotions when he's going out there for a kick and what were you guys saying to him on the sideline? And have you ever seen anything like that where a rookie kicker is called on that much and just has such big swings? Uh, we, I know the type of player Tyler Bass is. He's a good football player. We have the utmost confidence in Tyler Bass. Um, he's a young player. And like I said before, we put him in some really um, tough situations. And uh, in the end, he won us the game along with our defense. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a tough deal to go out there and have to put up that many points with your leg. Um, and I'm sure we all have a lot to learn from this, but for us, I think putting him in less stressful situations, especially a young guy, um, will be helpful. And I think we can do that and we'll learn from this film and go from there. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Mitch, uh, Jenna Cottrell in Rochester. Um, you know, you, you mentioned the fact that you guys are going to have some takeaways and things that you need to work on. I guess what, in your mind, is the biggest takeaway from this game? Um, I think uh, finishing drives. Finishing drives is the biggest thing, and touchdowns. Um, that and uh, kind of going back to the fundamentals, the basics. Uh, miscommunications a few times on the offensive line side. Um, we can do better in that regards. So uh, a lot to learn from this game. A lot to come back and uh, uh, we'll, we'll have a great week, a great challenging week for uh, you know another divisional opponent who's quite good. In terms of those red zone struggles, like what, what wasn't clicking for you guys? Um, everything. So I know there's not one thing. Uh, I think it was just a slew of certain things, um, whether it be penalties or in the quarterback hit or rushing that. Um, I know for me, my stake or my stance, I could do a lot better protecting the QB. So um, it's a terrible feeling to, for that to fall on you as an offensive lineman to see your, often your quarterback getting crushed because you either had a miscommunication or just bad technique. So um, we'll learn from it. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, Mitch, Thad Brown in Rochester. You talked about the, the tough spot you guys put Tyler Bass in from time to time. And he had such a roller coaster day, a miss, then a long, bunch of long makes, then another miss. Was there anyone talking to him on the sideline, kind of helping him through this game mentally? I know you guys do this a lot when it comes to Josh Allen or young guys on defense. With a kicker, was that that opportunity today? Yeah, uh, there were guys doing that for us. Um, I can only speak for myself. I was trying to make adjustments with my coach on the sideline uh, so that we didn't have to put him in those positions. So, um, yeah, I, I think we, we're all going to learn a lot from this game. I know Tyler will as well. Like you said, he had some really great kicks and some ones he probably went back. But um, that's our kicker. So uh, 
you know, we don't point fingers on this team except for intrinsically. And I, I, I can point the finger at myself quite a bit uh, to do better. Is it hard for a team to rally around a kicker just because of the practicality of what you're doing on the sideline? When you're not on the field, you're working on your own thing, you know, whereas the kicker's obviously on, on the field at different times. And how impressed were you with the way he kind of navigated his day mentally, you know, as a guy who's playing game seven in his NFL career? Yeah, I thought he did a fantastic job navigating it mentally. He put the ball in when we needed it to. I think that last kick's a testament to that. I put us in a position to um, put some pressure on their, you know, the opposing offense. Um, yeah, I think guys would rally around him. But like you said, we were really just trying to uh, try and make adjustments ourselves. So for us, that was the biggest thing. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hi, Mitch. Matt Fairburn here. Um, curious what the emotions were like yesterday when you found out the news about Dawson and some of the other tight ends and just uh, getting ready to jump on a plane and, and hearing that news. Um, you know, we have the utmost faith in our training staff and the uh, protocol the NFL's put us in with the trackers and stuff. So um, we understand that this is something that can't happen throughout the year. I thought we made critical adjustments. And in the end, um, you know, we still have a few days before we see if everything takes care of itself, you know, how this thing goes. Um, yeah, I thought we, we did a very good job with that. And it's unfortunate on, on, that a guy get tested positive, but we understand that's a possibility. So we have to move on and go from there. You mentioned the your kicker there and the defense kind of won this one for you. Just the last three weeks, uh, the offense hasn't quite been what it was in the first month of the season. No, you're not going to put up 40 every week, but but w what do you do to get the confidence back that, that seemed to be there in the first month? Uh, I think it's more <clears throat> executing. Um, getting down to execution, understanding, uh, you know, there's been some similar things that defenses have found us these last few weeks, <coughs> understanding what we need to do to um, score points. And it's just all comes down to execution. Uh, like, it's, like I said, for me, uh, pretty disappointed in how a few things played out for myself. Um, and I put my guys in some disadvantageous situations. So um, a lot to work on. Finally, hopefully have a seven day week to kind of rest the bones and um, you know, get ready for a, you know, also I think Greg Williams defense is a good defense. I think, you know, it's just a really good defense and uh, kudos to them to execute the, their game plan very well. Um, but for us, we have a lot of work to do uh, coming up on a very tough divisional opponent.